I bought the Pilchy Works in 1981 as a going concern. It was a rather heart rather than head business acquisition. It was one product, one customer. Here was the last place left in Cornwall, in fact, in the UK, doing salt pilches. It was about 100 tonnes a year being salted for six months, upstairs pressed in the barrels, wooden barrels and boxes, sent to the same family in Italy that used to take the product since 1905. I was now dealing with the grandson. So we, we streamlined the business, uh, some of the production as well, and all the way into the 90s, I was then looking at ways of diversifying it. The way we diversified it was basically trying to offer fresh pilchards out to the fresh market, and nobody was interested. But they were interested when I changed the name to call it a Cornish sardine. Sardines are preferred and have more of an image of sunshine and barbecues and a healthy image than pilchards. But though the demand started increasing, now the supply had to start to increase. And it was some innovative fishermen who started to meet that demand. And what's interesting is how technology has changed so that instead of having the huge capstans to pull in the net, the principle being the same with a long net with a small mesh reaching down to the seabed and closing the fish, we now have hydraulics. And instead of the hewer standing at the top of the cliff, peering into the ocean to see the shoals of fish, we now have a sonar to seek them out. So just one, two, or sometimes three men can be crew on a boat that can land substantial quantities of super fresh sardines. And it was a way of expanding the fishery and expanding the onshore side of it. And from our point of view, having a new raft of customers, so it was a question of then getting a, a filleting machine in. You can do 200 fish a minute when they're, when they're working well. So filleting-wise, you'd be slightly slower. A fast man might be able to do 40 a minute, but he'd be going some, I would think 20. So here, two people, sometimes three, feeding a machine, and you can get 200 fish a minute out of it. So now the market's built up with fresh butterfly fillets, with headed and gutted, and with frozen as grilled and marinated and still buy them in tins. So the humble pilchard is now a variety of different presentations with the new innovative chefs today. And what's interesting is that it's very Cornish. We're right at the northern end of the sardine stock. So we've got a wonderful Cornish stock that is sustainable for the future and has a long way to go.